All right, true believers, it's um, Aries 0083 again, uh, trying a new method. Ooh, I'm going to use Picasso to look at these pics. Um, as most of you guys know, today, Sunday the 13th, is the day of Toy Fair. Toy Fair will last from the 13th to the 16th. And while we have, while we have seen things already from Hasbro, um, don't count them out yet. Usually they leave the best for last. So keep your eyes peeled. There's a lot of different toy um, toy websites that you could check out. Um, I think the ones doing coverage is Custer's Corner, uh, BattleRip.com, um, Action Figure Picks, Cool Toy Review, Toy Newsy, and um, Toy Arc. Those are the toy sites that I have. I need to add more, but I don't know which are good toy sites. So let's go. These are pictures that they send um, to the press. These are uh, press release images. Everyone usually gets a CD with these images with white backgrounds. The first figure we're looking at is Apocalypse. It looks pretty good. I think he's going to pack two per case, according to um, Big Bad Toy Store. But big figures are usually hard to find, like Thanos, Red Hulk, um, not so much World War Hulk. But I like the, the head sculpt. I'm not too crazy about the body, but hey, it's Apocalypse. The next figure we have is Cable with Baby Hulk. I think this cable is too skinny for my taste and the head is a little weird. Um, I've read online, I think on a website that, uh, I think it was Castor's Corner, that uh, Baby Hope is going to be limited to the first run and then they're going to get rid of Baby Hope and they'll just have cable. But, um... I want to get him. I think he's going to be one per case. I wish he was beefier. I, I, I know a little bit about Baby Hope, but not that much, you know, to go nuts about it. About Baby. I think it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing we'll see is the Cable versus Taskmaster 2 pack. It's going to come with this comic, which is alright. I like um, the screaming face on Deadpool, but I do, I do like that we're getting a Deadpool figure since he's so hard to come by, and I do like the Taskmaster, but I'm not too crazy about the uh, the head sculpt. There's two. <laughs> I don't know if he's smiling. It looks like he's smiling, and that he's looking that way. But the yellow, I guess it's supposed to look like bone. I would have wa rather preferred it white and without the teeth. And this little shield thing has to be wider across the chest. At least to me, for me. I'll still get it, but it's a so-so figure. Then we're going to get Jim Lee's Cyclops, which is the Cyclops from the Marvel vs. Capcom games. And the first Cyclops I knew and loved. I don't understand the whole belt thing because I'm sure this is going to be moving up and down. But we'll see when we get the figure. It does look nice. It's a decent figure. And I think it's going to be one per case. One thing that surprised me was the announcement of this comic pack. X-Men First Class, um, Gene and Cyclops. I don't like Gene's face, but this is a prototype. A lot of these figures, they'll go through changes, like the Captain Marvel on the card back, he had different hips, and then the toy was like had these kind of legs. So, the Cyclops is beefy, and I like him. His head is a little big. It's a little wide. But, the costume design is very nice. So, I do like this comic pack. 
and I will get it. We'll be getting a Dark Hawk figure. I'm not too familiar with Dark Hawk. I know about him, but you know I'm not too excited about this figure. So meh, pass. We're gonna get a Doctor Doom. It looks like the same one that comes with the Marvel Secret Wars comic pack. So. I'll probably end up passing this one and picking up the comic pack with the Absorbing Man when I do see it. We'll be getting a Doctor Strange and a variant that's translucent as his astro form. The face is pretty good. <laughs> he, he looks alright. I really like the Marvel Legends um, Do Doctor Strange because of the cape. We'll be getting a Falcon, which is kind of cool because he's in the superhero squad. Now you can form your own little superhero squad. We just need Reptile and Scarlet Witch, and we'll be done, Cap. Then we get Gladiator. Gladiator has some <laughs> big womanly hips, but depending on what the final product looks like, I'll get them. But. I mean, I like him. I like the cape, the whole mohawk, but he'll probably be like the modular Iron Man. He'll be one of the last figures I get. And not multiples of. Just like this guy, Namor. Gonna get him in his little sea trunks. And, um. His spear. There is another Namor with a vest, but. I didn't pick him up when I had the chance. Um, just like the other namer, I'll just get this. I'll just get one of this guy to complete my collection of invaders. Um, this is one pack that I'll get. It's the Silver Samurai and uh, Patch. I mean, I'm not too crazy about the Wolverine figure. He's the plain. But I do want the Silver Samurai, especially since he was in um, X-Men Children of the Atom. They'll be getting Power Man and Iron Fist, a comic pack, which I like. I, I like, I don't know for, for what reason, I do like the tiara wearing... Um, 70s looking Power Man and um, Iron Fist. I have the regular Luke Cage, but he's just too plain. He looks like a bystander, but this guy sticks out like a sword thumb. So I'll be I'll be getting this pack, especially since I don't have Iron Fist. This is one pack I really want. It's a Wolverine First Class comic pack with long haired saber tooth and brown costume wolverine the bad thing is that this is going to be in the marvel legends line he'll be the fourth brown costume wolverine he'll be it'll be the fifth if you count the wolverine origins brown costume wolverine so there's like secret wars the captain america 2 pack this pack uh, his son Dakin and um, the Marvel um, Wolverine Origins X-Men Origins Wolverine but as you can tell by the sculpt this is a repaint of Series 1 Wolverine I hope they they change this but I, I, I'm going to buy this pack more for Sabretooth than for Wolverine but I'm excited. I passed on getting the off-road pack at, 14, at fifteen dollars because I thought that was too much. I regret it. We'll be getting the Scarlet Spider, and um, he has this joint in his thigh, which I think is going to make him a little more superposable. So he'll be able to do more Spider-Man-esque um, poses. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is one figure that I'll just get one of. This is Scar, Son of Hulk. 
As you can see, I think they used the World War Hulk body for this guy. But only one of him. Then we have this Super Spider-Man and Captain Britain um, comic pack. It looks like Captain Britain is using a uh, Captain Marvel's body, with the high um, shoulders. It's pretty cool. You have two Captain Britons: the old time Captain Britain and the new time one. And the Spider-Man has these cut, cut casts, so he'll be a little more superposable. The eyes are alright. I wish they were big, the eyes, but those are decent eyes. Then we'll be getting Steve Rogers. He looks a little too young here, but <laughs> what can you do? But this is a good figure. He has lots of um, weaponry on him, and it'll look good with your uh, shield agents. So, I'm going to pick this guy up. Then we get a repaint of Ultron. Which, um, it's alright. I don't, I don't know if, I think it might be better, wow. You could always get the comic pack Ultron, and then get this guy and have, um, the comic pack one as a drone. Because this guy has green instead of red. So, yeah, I guess you could get them both. But I'm not too crazy about Ultron. The body's too plain. Jocasta? Maybe. But, <laughs> you get for first appearance Wolverine, which I like very much. I like the head sculpt. And I think they're using the body from the X-Men Origins Wolverine. Because if you look at the claws, they're one piece. One big piece. I prefer the claws like that as opposed to separate claws I mean the separate claws would work if it was hard plastic but as soft plastic no next to last thing is this Avengers West Coast comic pack we get Quicksilver and Wonder Man well, I wonder if we'll get a variant of Wonder Man in his toy biz days we got a purple translucent variant was pretty cool. I li for some reason I like Wonder Man, <laughs> but without the safari vest. <laughs> but he's all right. He I think he's a cool character. And the last figure in the line, X twenty three in her um, X Force costume. She's pretty pretty well rounded <laughs> but one of the things I do like about the Marvel Universe line is that their females are way prettier than they were in Marvel Legends so this is Sunday let's hope tomorrow Monday we get more news or tonight yeah tonight Sunday into Monday stay tuned bye <laughs>